In this tutorial, we're going to fo focus slightly on um, audio again, um, audio transitions and, um, and um, keyframing and audio fade. So first of all, I have the footage fairly well sequenced here. You'll notice with this scene here, um, what I've done is I've used the sound of the exhaust and then I've gone to the MG logo and actually when this part was filmed of the MG logo up here there's actually no sound there and I've carried the exhaust sound through so what I did was when I dragged the MG logo in you notice it has a sound clip there I just hold down alt once and I deleted it and then I just dragged this clip over there and that means the bottom sound can just carry through like so <laughs> Now I'm not very happy with the very last part because the sound stops quite suddenly. So let's have a look how we can fade this audio here. So I'm going to click on the audio here and go to effect controls. Alright, and I'm just going to open up volume. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring this time scrubber back slightly and I'm going to start an audio fade. So basically at this point in time, I would like my decibels to relay, relay uh, state at 0, 0.0. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a keyframe there. And then I'm just going to... That means the audio at that point in time, at that keyframe here, is going to be at this sound, uh, this, this um, level of decibel. Here to do that, I'm just going to hold my mouse down and just fade it. And as you notice, um, if you look at the decibel here, as I drag time, the decibel is going to decrease. So we've keyframed an audio fade, and let's see what that looks like. Okay. And we just need to add um, one more constant gain in here as well. Let's just play that one more time. And when you're editing, you've got to constantly uh, like rewind and keep playing it until you're really, really happy that it matches the storyboard and it's, it's looking smooth. All right. Now, when you've finished your work, if there's not a lot of animation to do, for example, in one of the future tutorials we're going to look at animating video and um, text, you, you can hit render, which is the enter, and it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll do this. It will um, make the whole movie play a lot more smoothly. But, but I'm quite confident this is playing smooth already, so what I'm doing, I'm just going to save it, um, save that project. And if you're ready to just um, save, save it um, to another format, basically all you do is just go File, Export, Media. Okay. Now down here, you could decide um, the range of media you want to export. You might want to export the whole thing, just a certain part. Up here, you can choose the format. So you can save it as an AVI or QuickTime. Let's say I want to save as a QuickTime, just click on QuickTime. Alright, again if you're exporting to YouTube, then you would um, choose FLV, because YouTube um, just rely on flash video, so I would choose FLV for that. And then once you've done that, just decide what your output name is, and where you're going to save it. And I will save this in raw footage and I will call it completed car sequence and then save and then export okay so in this in this tutorial we have looked at um, say cutting out audio by using the alt key when you've dragged a clip down here using linear editing style and we've looked at 
animating the decibel level of audio and it, the example we used was we used the um, just fading out the audio and we've also looked at um, how we can save our footage